listen to your battery powered radio for instructions and information concerning community. What if I told you that the Nazis had an organization dedicated to proving the superiority of the Aryan race? This is the story of Anna Nerba, born in the year 1935, the brainchild of Heinrich Himmler, Hermann Wirth, and Richard Walter Dahr. These men embarked on a quest to unearth relics and evidence that would trace German ancestry back to the Aryan master race. Their tools? A medley of research methods and worldwide expeditions. Their ambition was as grand as it was unorthodox. Himmler, for instance, cast himself in the role of a reincarnated King Henry the Fowler, steering the SS towards becoming an order of knights, a modern-day reincarnation of ancient chivalry. Their journey was not without its oddities, pseudoscientific theories such as the world ice theory underpinned their research, while their expeditions sought more than just physical artifacts, pagan incantations and rituals were also on their peculiar shopping list. Thus, with a blend of pseudoscience and mysticism, Ananerba set out on a mission to rewrite history. So, how did Ananerba plan to prove their theories? Well, they left no stone unturned. They embarked on a vast range of activities. There were archaeological expeditions where they searched high and low for relics that could link the German ancestry to the Aryan master race. They believed that the key to proving their theories lay buried in the sands of time, waiting to be discovered. In addition to archaeology, Ananerba also delved into the world of supernatural and mystic arts. Studies on witchcraft and psychic research were conducted, an attempt to bridge the gap between science and the occult. These studies were a part of their larger goal to find pagan incantations and rituals for Himmler's planned pagan religion. Their operations were not just confined to Germany, they spread their wings and flew to distant parts of the world. They were in search of Aryan artifacts and ruins that could be attributed to the Aryans. The scope of their operations was truly global. One expedition that stands out was led by Ernst Schaefer to Tibet in 1938. The mission was a strange mix of the mystical and the empirical. They were there to gather information about Tibetan religion and, in a twist that seemed straight out of a pulp adventure novel, they were also trying to track down the elusive Yeti. It was as if they were trying to prove their theories by finding a creature that was half myth, half reality. The results of these expeditions, however, were often met with skepticism and ridicule. Despite their efforts, many found it hard to swallow the claims of the Ananerba. But that's a tale for another time. So, what has been the lasting impact of Ananerba's bizarre and often cruel endeavors, one might wonder? The organization's so-called findings were widely disseminated through academic articles in the magazine Germanian. This was part of their concerted effort to legitimize their pseudoscientific theories, essentially rewriting history to fit their distorted worldview. Interestingly, Ananerba didn't limit itself to just archaeology and anthropology. They also delved into the mystical and occult. Himmler, one of the founders, sought out pagan incantations and rituals to construct a new pagan religion. He envisioned a return to what he believed were the old ways of the Aryans, a religion that would glorify their perceived racial superiority. However, as grandiose as their plans may have been, they were largely met with skepticism and even outright ridicule. The scientific community debunked many of their claims, exposing them for what they were, baseless attempts to assert racial superiority. Their expeditions were seen as nothing more than a farce, their theories dismissed as pseudoscience. In the end, Ananerba's legacy serves as a chilling reminder of the lengths to which people can go in pursuit of dangerous ideologies. Their bizarre and inhumane endeavors underscore the dangers of unchecked power and the manipulation of history and science for nefarious ends. Having a disaster, get ready. We'll increase your family chances of